Hello everybody on YouTube. How are you guys today? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how you can connect your old cell phone to your receiver by using the Bluetooth technology. If you're at home and you want to talk a little louder uh, and hear your uh, girlfriend or boyfriend on the phone, you can do that if you want. That's totally up to you guys. But I'm just demonstrating you guys on how easy it is to connect a device directly to Bluetooth wirelessly without any type of cables. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. But if you guys can see, this is my main audio system. This is what I actually listen to. Uh, my radio, my records, my tape player, my CD player, and also DVDs as well sometimes with uh, this system. But the reason why I done this was I was thinking maybe it's another type of technology we can actually integrate with your main system without buying a new head unit itself. But remember one thing with Bluetooth is you have to have a fully charged battery on your device like your phone or your iPad or your iPhone or iPod Touch. Anything that has Bluetooth, it will drain your battery. And trust me, I've done this multiple times with different pieces of equipment. And sometimes the devices will work, and some devices may not work. Uh, the unit may actually ask you for a passcode, but that's typically fine. That is the sometimes zero, zero, zero. that's four zeros uh, for the passcode for the uh, device to work. Now, once you pair it, it's not going to ask you uh, for that code again. This is only going to ask you one time uh, for it. Now, if you remove it or you delete it off your phone, it may ask you for that same passcode again. But I really love my main system. It seems to work pretty good. Now, if you also have a newer computer, you can also use your main system is a Bluetooth speakers. Now, I have everything turned on, but the Bluetooth is directly hooked up to the receiver itself and not to all the own pieces of equipment uh, on my unit. Now, this will only work only 30 feet away from the unit if I'm in my room. It's totally fine, but if you go anywhere else, like out of your room or anywhere else in the house, it may not work because it may uh, cancel the audio from that device and it will skip that audio as well. But you can also play music through Bluetooth wirelessly as well and that's uh, pretty unique and pretty cool. I really enjoy that with this newer type of generation technology we are using today. But let's go ahead and actually show you on how you can connect everything to your phone as well. Alright, I'm gonna go up to my receiver, you guys can see this is a very old vintage uh, piece of equipment. This is a Toshiba stereo receiver, a very vintage, but it still works today. Now, everything on here is all analog, just to let you guys know that, okay? Now, the one thing uh, with this device, I actually have it uh, hooked on the tape mode on the back of my receiver uh, for this little guy to actually work. If you guys can see this is a Rocket Bluetooth music receiver. Very cool for all sorts of music as you guys can see. We also have the audio jack and the power jack as well. 5 volts for this uh, little guy uh, to work. Now the biggest downfall with this little unit, it does not have any type of internal switch to turn it off when you are done with it. The only thing you have to do is unplug it from the back of the receiver or from the unit itself to turn it off. But the flashing is means it's on standby mode. It's not paired with anything. But if you really want to know what's on the back of my unit, you guys can see this is what my unit looks like. Let's get a closer look for you guys. You guys can see 5 volts, opt audio, and audio output. That's just the uh, cheap way to connect this uh, to your uh, receiver itself. Now, the biggest problem is this unit is a little pricey. It's $50 just for this unit. You will get everything included 
in the package and the box with this unit as well. I really like it. It's very small, very thin, and it also can actually be hung on the cabinet or inside your cabinet as you want. That's your choice. You just have to put two screws and line up the two screws with the notches and hang this up. But I recommend actually not doing that. I would actually look, I'll have it this way out facing this way because it's easier for the phone to connect. Here's just my old phone. This is just a Verizon Samsung phone. Nothing too special, but what we're going to do is unlock my phone and we're going to go into settings and that's what I'm going to do right now. Go into settings, go into Bluetooth menu and we're going to find new device or new item like this guy here. And what it's going to do is it's going to try to connect. We're going to hit the OK button and we have to add the item to the phone itself. Once it picks it up, it will actually add and connect. Now, it's a lot of different ways to do this, guys. But I hope to God it doesn't ask me for my passcode for this thing. Because it's kind of annoying. But you guys can see, now this device is now connected with this unit. And you guys can see, now it's a solid blue light. means this is ready to go. And it's ready to be play some music and phone calls from my cell phone to my radio. Now, I'm going to play just a little bit of tunes here for you guys. Just a tiny bit for you can understand how everything actually works. So now, we're just to this little guy and everything is connected just fine. You guys can see my battery is kind of low for this item to uh, work. But it will play just fine. Now, if you do have uh, music on your phone, this is kind of awesome. Just go to your music playlist and go here and go to your music and you can choose whatever album you want to listen to. I'm just doing this as a test here for you guys can understand on how this actually works. You guys can see, I have the phone wirelessly hooked up to my stereo without any issues with the Bluetooth. Now I'm going to pause that real quick for we don't have any copyright issues here on YouTube. And that's how I connected my unit with the Bluetooth. Now this is a beautiful setup. I really enjoy having my setup this way. And I, if I'm on my computer or if I'm at my desk, I can actually answer my phone uh, by using the Bluetooth technology. But not everything works with Bluetooth. It only pretends that your device has Bluetooth and your uh, devices as well. Alright guys, this is my tutorial of connecting your cell phone to the Bluetooth Rocketfish receiver. If you guys are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye guys. Well, please see you and the next blog. Thank you for watching. See you a little later guys.